Hello and welcome back to Culinary Haven. The holiday season is over now, but here at Culinary Haven we like festivities. And this week we are celebrating Burns Night, an event that honors the life and work of Robert Burns, Scotland's favorite poet. Burns supper typically consists of traditional Scottish dishes and plenty of drinks and poetry. And our Burns supper menu is for starters, a highland wood pigeon breast fillet, pan fried and served with orange sauce, followed by haggis, served with club shot and whiskey sauce. And for dessert, a slice of marmalade cake, served with a scoop of ice cream. And we'll start with preparing the haggis because it takes the longest to cook. We'll wrap it in tin foil tightly and place it in a roasting dish and then pour some boiling water in it about two centimeters high. and place it in the preheated to 180 degrees oven for two hours but keep an eye on it you might need to top off the water from time to time and now we have plenty of time to prepare all the other dishes and we'll start with preparing the vegetables for the club shot. Club shot is a traditional Scottish dish, which is a mash made of boiled potatoes and boiled sweet. They're cooked separately and then they're put together when they're ready into a bowl. And then we add some butter, some cream, some finely chopped chives or spring onions. This sweet is uh, quite large, so I'm only going to use uh, three quarters of it. So it's going to be about half a kilo of potatoes, Maris Piper potatoes, and half a kilo of turnip. I'll just cut it into large chunks. The vegetables are now ready and I'm going to prepare the club shot. First I'll heat up some double cream, about 100 ml or so, like this, and 50 grams of butter. Just warm it up a little bit in the microwave so it, it doesn't cool the ash. Just 30 seconds in the microwave and it's warm enough. To, and now I'm going to chop the spring onions. Ideally I would use chives but I don't have it today so just chop the spring onions extra finely. Put that aside. And now the vegetables. Now I'm going to add half of the spring onions and the other half will go to whiskey sauce. It is quite a coarse mash because sweet of course is not as floury and starchy as potatoes. It's a very nice texture, the two together. It's ready and I'm going to cover it with tin foil to keep it warm. Now I'm going to prepare the whiskey sauce. We'll need 500 ml of double cream, one tablespoon of whiskey, one tablespoon of honey mustard, 
and two teaspoons of whole grain mustard. And now I'm just going to whisk it all together. On a gentle heat, bring it to boil and simmer for a couple of minutes. The sauce is almost ready and now I'm just going to add a few final ingredients. First we'll season it, half a teaspoon of white ground pepper, half a teaspoon of salt, the remaining spring onions and a splash of lemon juice with a little bit of orange juice in it. It's ready. Now I'm going to cover it with the lid tight so it keeps warm until it's ready to be served. It's time to prepare the starter. I'm going to season the wood pigeon breast fillets with salt and different kinds of peppers and fry it in butter. The haggis is now ready and here it is in all its glory. So I'm just going to, it's actually burst whilst it was cooking, so it's perfectly ready. Look at that. And I'm going to top it up with the whiskey sauce. And now for the dessert. I'm serving marmalade cake with a scoop of chocolate ice cream because we like chocolate ice cream and because chocolate goes well with orange. And the reason I'm serving this cake today is because orange marmalade was invented in Scotland in the city of Dundee in the 1700s by Mrs. Keller, whose husband bought a large load of Seville oranges from a ship that sought harbor in Scottish waters and it wasn't a great success him trying to sell it from his grocery shop and then Mrs. Keller came to the rescue and she concocted this recipe for the marmalade and it became a great hit and from now on I don't think there is any household in the United Kingdom that doesn't have a jar of orange marmalade on their breakfast table. Thank you for watching this episode of Culinary Haven. I hope you enjoyed it. If you would like to know how to prepare the orange marmalade cake, let me know and I'll show you in one of the future episodes. Until next time, bye!